All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at it again. We are going to be doing a bloom pour, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be puddling up our paints right here. But the fun part is that we're going to be using the iridescent paints. So I mixed up some uh, violet, some uh, bright blue. I don't know why I'm saying uh. Some, I don't know what this is. Turquoise? Something like that? Yeah, turquoise and some bright yellow. We're gonna see what these four colors make. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna try a couple of these. Probably, I don't know if I'm gonna do two in this one video, because what I wanna do is I wanna try one with a base layer of white. And this is just the flow acrylic from Artist Loft mixed with water and Floatron, and then try one without. I usually do it without, we're gonna try it both ways to see what happens. So, first one we're gonna do without. Let me know what you guys think of the first one. I guess apparently we're gonna do both of them. So here we go. So we are going to lay down the yellow. Gonna lay down some yellow right there. Just pour it out. So it's a little bit thicker. I might have an issue. I might not like it. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Yes. From here, we're gonna add some of the blue. Oh yeah, this paint's coming out real thick. We might just have to cut and move on to something else. The violet is next. And then we're gonna go with the teal, last. That one so they didn't even wanna come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this out, see if I can get some of this to spread out. If not, we're just gonna go ahead and add more paint all the way around and it'll just be a shit show. All right, who ordered the shit show? Let's rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more of the paint. We're just gonna go ahead and circle them around. Just like so. Because at this point, I'm kind of annoyed how thick it is. I mixed these up a few days ago, thinking they'd be all right. But since I don't have the greatest of experiences with these iridescent gels, mediums, whatever, they thickened up on me, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame. But, whatever. We're playing with paint. We're going to see what happens, right? Just a, just a dab of purple right there in the middle. And a little. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and spin this out a little bit more just to kind of thin out that center part. Oh, alright. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to see if we can't fix that bright area with the light. Did that do anything? Did that do anything? What light is that? Where are you, where are you casting the light, bro? I got three lights going on at the same time I don't even know. All right, we're just gonna pretend that that's not gonna bother me even though it's gonna bother me. So we're gonna go ahead and use the black oxide paint from Amsterdam. We're gonna pour a little dot in the middle. We're gonna blow it out. We're gonna spin it out and see if we can't get these areas covered. Cross our fingers, it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna put our little, our little blob of paint right there. And now, since I only have one camera at the moment because my GoPro decided to say bye, my head's gonna get in the way. So please forgive me. Let's get a little zoomy zoom on this one. Or try to. Come on, zoom in, bro. Kinda, sorta. No, I don't like the graininess of that. Do we need more light? Am I in the light again? 
nope that didn't do anything anyways we're just gonna go ahead and spin it out and see what happens from there bad not bad and we almost got everything covered but as you know ladies and gentlemen we're gonna cheat we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of paint right there just to kind of get the corners tiny little corner right there and just kind of slap it on right there all right so I'm not sure if you guys can see it I can see it because I got, you know, I've got physical eyes on it. This is glittery as fuuu. So we're gonna spin it one more time. I'm gonna see if we can't thin it out just a little bit more and then I'll bring it in for a close up. That's enough, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a funky mess, so, at first I was kind of annoyed because the paints were coming out really thick which I still don't like but I think overall it kind of worked out so we're just gonna go around the block wait a minute wait a minute what am I doing hold your roll bro you didn't even do this right hold on better all right so ladies and gentlemen I'm going to gently turn the little chingalera the spinner so we can see the outer edges of this piece now hopefully I can zoom in or at least get it in focus a little bit better no we'll just get close we'll get right up close and personal oh yes okay so the yellow and the blue or teal or whatever colors I don't like that much right there but totally digging these uh, little itty bitty sails the sails and the lacing is what does it for me ladies and gentlemen Hopefully this thing dries kind of shiny. Um, the other one is dried pretty dope. But for this next one, I am going to add a base layer. I am probably going to thin out some of these paints. So we'll see what it looks like in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, give the video a like. If you liked it, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.